So, yeah, you know, pre previous guys in life. <laughs> Is there anything else that, you know, kind of... Uh, one of the things that keeps haunting me, and it's funny because uh, Mr. Manser just walked in and he's one of the protagonists in this uh, flipping story. Yeah, I tried to, uh, tried to hide that in the, the depths. Uh, before I used to, um, well, while I was, again, working on the bars, um, I met up with a lot of people and uh, a couple of people I met were producers of, um, of music, film, TV and all that type of stuff. And if it wasn't for the bar, I probably wouldn't be doing a lot of the stuff I'm doing today. Sure. The very first... Uh, radio voiceover commercial I ever did um, was because I was working behind a bar, put in an old Jamaican voice and one of the guys there used to work for Kiss FM. Okay. He did TV, he did the radio commercials and he says, oh, you'd be great for this ad, what you want to do? Think we need an old Jamaican man and he starts talking about how crap rave music is and that type of stuff and it's all about the old uh, Calypso music and it's for his rum. I'm like, oh yeah, well, who's a rum company? He says, yeah, Appleton. Uh -huh. I'm like, wow, okay, I know Appleton being a yeah. Jamaican. Um, so yeah, they took me out to Kiss. We did. We recorded it. It got nominated for an award. Um, Amazing. That, that, that radio commercial. But on that day, I met the Appleton guys, and they found out I worked in the bar. And yeah. They brought the rum down. About six months later, they made me the first rum ambassador because they asked me to work for them like three days a week, um, just part time, just going around to bars talking about rum. I also started doing voiceovers for yeah. radio and TV for BBC, MTV, Kiss <laughs> FM, all that type of stuff because they love what I did. And um, he, they were looking for a rapper to join this uh, Ray, this, uh, <laughs> this group called Eurogroove, and okay. uh, there was a rapper that I knew named Daddy Chester, and um, he uh, couldn't make a session one time, so they called me in and I did it. They said I killed it, and next thing you know, I'm in Pineapple Studios rehearsing to join his group, <laughs> and we're off to Japan, flipping, touring around Japan, rapping. I'm like, what the? Hell is this so all you about? actually toured Japan with this? We were number one in Japan. Right? That's it amazing. Like, it, was, it was flipping mad, man. It was crazy. It was surreal. In a, in a, in a nightclub, jumping up and down the stage, rapping to music I would never normally listen to, in front of 10,000 people, just like, throw your hands in the air. It's like. <laughs> But it was fun, it was a great experience. And, um, and then after that, I met a couple of producers in France and we did a couple of tracks together. I was mashed on some rum one night and uh, we did this track called um, Rock the Juice. Uh -huh. And uh, um, about a month later, they presented it to Universal in Paris and they loved it. They submitted it to a couple of, a couple of companies. Pepsi wanted to use it for a TV commercial, so they ran a TV commercial in South America using the track. A year later, we got an email from Universal and they said, oh, we want to use it in this new movie called Scooby-Doo. I'm like, yeah, yeah, having a laugh. Yeah, they were, they were being serious. It was, then it got used in the movie. They then I didn't <laughs> sign a publishing deal after all that. And I was like, wow, this is mad. But the great thing about it is that we weren't a group. We were just two guys <laughs> that wanted yeah. to write songs and have a bit of fun. So um, then they just thought of the idea, why don't we just form a group? And so we've been touring around France and all those places. And, just jumping up and down the stage, rapping and doing Amazing. my cross between Buster Rhymes and Shaggy impersonation, <laughs> <laughs> which was the, the theme behind it. It was Shaggy, Buster Rhymes and Rum. Amazing. There's a lot of bartenders now saying, yeah, I love that track here. And then uh, every time they play it and promote it, Universal say, yeah, we can use it for this, we can use it for this. A couple more pennies here for you. <laughs> In raw Can't tips. complain. Can't complain. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I actually didn't know one of that, you know. Ah, I always hide it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>